I hate weddings. A rant. So I've always wanted to do videos where I share my opinions on things with you guys, and this is gonna be one of the first ones. Um, if you like these videos, let me know, and we'll see about doing more. Now, I've actually written down a few bullet points because I get easily distracted whenever I'm talking into the camera, so if I ever get sidetracked, I can come back to them, but I'm not gonna come back to them unless I absolutely need to. Okay, where was I gonna start? So before we jump into this, you're probably like, oh my god, how could you hate weddings? They're so magical and mystical and absolutely beautiful. It's my special day. I want you guys to know that this is just an opinion. If you love weddings, you you absolutely adore them, you've been planning your wedding from like when you were three years old until you're 21, that is amazing. I absolutely love when people are just so passionate about their special day. And let's face it, weddings are beautiful. They are a beautiful moment in everyone's life. And it is something that should be celebrated. And if you are invited to a wedding, you better enjoy that wedding. If but if they don't have like great food there, then we can talk about that later. But what I'm trying to say is that a wedding is special. It should absolutely be celebrated by everyone and everyone should enjoy the fact that they were invited to somebody's special day. But as an attendee, there can be some times where there's moments where they keep you in the cocktail room and they starve you while you, you know, wait for them to take pictures. And that can be, kind of annoying. You know what, I have bullet points here and I mentioned food two times and I told myself in my bullet points that I wasn't gonna mention food, but let's see if I can stay away from that. Okay, but like, for real though, let's get into why I don't like weddings in particular. Sorry I, sh sorry I shrunk down a little bit there. I was sitting on my legs and my legs got a little tired. But for real though, let me get into why I don't like weddings. And before I like continue this, I just wanna say that like, if someone invites me to a wedding, I am excited to go to that wedding. Like, I want to be with that person on their special day to make sure that like they know that I love and support them and like it's about them. I am so happy to be invited to a wedding. Please invite me to weddings, especially if you have great food, please. Like that is the best kind of wedding to go to. But if you don't got like good food, then maybe not. Again, the weddings are not about the guests. So what I'm about to say is totally the perspective of the guests, not the perspective of the like bride and groom. But I do like, again, I am married, so, and I have had a wedding myself, so I'll get into that a little bit later because I do have perspective on that as a bride, um, and yeah. Just, just let me talk about my past a little bit, okay? Just, just suffer with me for a little bit, okay? Alright, so about me growing up. So, just so you guys know, I came from a Hispanic family, and like, there are a lot of family members in my family. Just know that my extended family was huge. Like it was, it, it, it is still big, but it's just, it, it was, it's just huge. So I'm sure as a baby, I was taken to weddings, but I don't remember them. But the first wedding that I ever remember, like growing up was one that like, I think set the tone for me for my attitude towards weddings because I feel like I was lied to. So when my mom took me to my first wedding, she basically told me, well, she lied to me. She said that it was gonna be like a big party, we're gonna have fun all the time, and it was just gonna be this like magical thing. Like the way that she built it up was just very, like, I don't know, it almost felt like, I like, it almost felt like, like it felt like you were gonna go to Disney World. That That is the expectation that I had when I like first went to my wedding that I remember. So here I was getting like all super cute and everything. Like I was like, I was ready to go to this, this Disney World that like, you know, I was thinking that was gonna happen in my head. And so my mom, you know, she's getting me all prettied up and I'm like, I look really cute. Like I, I need to find, a, see if I have a picture of that sometime, I'll show it to you guys. But like, she was getting me dressed and then I remember like putting on my shoes and all of a sudden she's like, all right, we're going to church. And I was like, wait, what? When she said that, I was just, I don't know. Like, I, I, I think I was just confused because at the time, like I, I went to church when I was little, right? And so I was like, you just said, we're basically going to like the Disneyland of parties. And, and then you said church in, this, in the same sentence. And, and I, I know church, we, we went on, on Sundays and, and we, we never partied there. Like there's no party like there. Like you can't party in Jesus's house. It's very quiet and, and it's, it's a long ceremony and it, it's, it's beautiful in its own way. But all I know is that you eat the bread, you drink the blood and I never got to do that because my mom didn't throw me in the water. Wait a minute. A lot of thoughts were going to my head and I'm sure that if I had the vocabulary to say to my mom what I was thinking then, she probably would have like spanked me or something like that. So I ended up crying because we were going to church and not a party. I don't know why I cried. I guess I was just a kid and you don't really think about that kind of stuff. So she takes me to, to church and it's, 
<laughs> Basically, it was a really long ceremony. And I like I don't know even what they were saying because I, I wasn't paying attention. And I don't even know what you can say that... Like, like, I don't know what you can say that would take, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. Again, I, I, I don't know. But all I remember is that I had to shut up and it was really hard as a kid back then to do that because, you know, you like... Like sometimes you have like judgy aunts and judgy grandmas and they're like, you know, oh, if, if, if you're not being a good kid, they get really like starey and stuff like that. Like they stare at you like, like I see what you're doing. Especially if you come from like a Hispanic family and stuff like that, you, that happens a lot. The ceremony that I went to and I was like, again, this is the first one that I remember. It was just, I, I was born and raised in Texas. It was hot. It was just, then my dress started to get itchy. It was uncomfortable. It was just... I don't even know. So the ceremony finally ends and we go to the reception hall, which is like awesome. The Disney World, like we're, we're going to the Disney World now. And we get there and like I'm starving by this point and there's no food, like there is none whatsoever. There's only like drinks and like maybe a few crackers and stuff like that. Like I don't remember eating that because I was just like, this is, this is not food. So we're at the reception hall, like, you know, getting our tables and stuff like that. They're passing out like these cards and stuff. And um, it's really funny because they, for some reason, I think like 30 minutes or an hour again passed and there was like no food. It was just really boring. And they had like, you know, people like, you know, playing music a little bit, but it wasn't like anything super crazy. And it was just like an hour of endless waiting. And I was just like, what is going on? Turns out years later, I find out that they were probably taking wedding pictures and stuff like that. But I was like, wait, wait, what? Like the least you think they would have done is at least given people food, but like they didn't. All I remember is that I think some people were already getting drunk because they had like an open bar there, which was nice, but like, where was the food? So here I was, tiny little Jessica, like, you know, starving and like, deprived of like this this magical Disney world that I was built up to believe existed. So then finally the bride and groom come in and I'm there like in awe because they look absolutely gorgeous. My cousin just was rocking that dress that day. Um, and she just looked like a princess too. Like when you're little, you think everybody who's like in a pretty dress looks like a princess. So that was like really nice to see them come in and stuff like that. And I remember that moment, but then all of a sudden like we like for some reason didn't get to eat again because they had to go from each table to say hi to everybody i think they were bringing out like the little like um what is it the little salads and stuff like that but i'm a kid i don't want like salads i want like chicken nuggets so anyway to wrap this up the party basically like you know it goes off pretty well it's nice it's nice to see my family members and everything it's nice to see like you know the bride and groom all you know lovey-dovey and stuff and then they throw the little bouquet and it's all cool and stuff like that but it was just not what I was expecting or led to believe. And then also keep in mind that, again, I have a huge family, so this kept happening like almost twice a year at this rate, like where you were going to weddings and they were just like, the food was just not that great. God, I'm sorry, I know I'm talking about the food so much, but that makes a wedding. Like if you're gonna, like if you're gonna have people wait, at least feed them. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I'm going back to my notes now. Now keep in mind that like, all the weddings that I've been to, I have a lot of stories for all the weddings, but we're just going over like the first one where I had like these crazy expectations and then they were just like not what I thought they were going to be. So yeah, just know that that is just a brief explanation of where I was coming from whenever I was thinking about weddings in the first place. I mean, as a kid, the bubbles were really cool. Like that's probably my favorite part about the wedding is getting the little bubbles and like blowing them and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm going back to my notes. Again, this is a brief summary of my thoughts on that. Just know that. Okay, so now we're going to talk about my wedding. I don't need my notes for this one because this one I have so vividly in my mind. I absolutely loved my wedding. Like, let me tell you guys. Let me get more comfortable so I can tell you guys. Okay, so my wedding or mine and Jason's wedding was at Disney World. That is right. I actually had my wedding at Disney World where like I was expecting Disney World whenever I was like, you know, a kid and I was like, you know, oh my God, we're gonna go to Disney World. Well, I actually went to Disney World for my wedding. And let me just say like, I'm not trying to sell this or anything or like this is not sponsored or whatsoever, but a wedding at Disney World is just so easy. I mean, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but it is the easiest thing and probably cheaper than like a regular wedding, like than you would imagine. I am not even joking. Like I would look into it if you're ever considering it, but that again, I'm just, I'm not trying to sell it, but I'm just trying to say that they pretty much did everything for me and it was amazing. Um, it was still stressful because you have to always check up and make sure they're okay. 
But like, and also you have to get your own dress and all that stuff like that. You have to make sure the groom gets his tuxedo and stuff like that. So like there's some things that you do have to do, but they will take care of pretty much the majority for you. For me, I never had a giant like, I wanna do like this crazy wedding where like we invite all everyone and stuff like that. And you know, it's all crazy and, and it's like, you know, a bajillion dollars. For me, I always wanted a very, very simple wedding. I would be perfectly fine like just being with Jason and being like, all right, let's have a cake and then let's go to Olive Garden and then let's get married and then, oh, wait, let's get married, then have a cake, then go to Olive Garden or wait, Olive Garden, uh, married cake. Y you know what I mean? My only requirement for our wedding is that the food was amazing. Like that is it. That's all I care about when I go to a wedding. If your food is not great, I, I, I don't know how to rate the wedding. Like if you're asking me for an honest opinion, like I'll rate the wedding on based on your love, your wedding is like a solid 10 out of 10. Like it's there's there's no ifs, ands, or else about it. But if you're asking me to rate the quality of your wedding in terms of like the guest part and the food isn't great, then it's probably not gonna be a good rating for me. I'm sorry, I just really care about food, okay? So anyway, like I was saying, so we ended up having a wedding at Disney. Uh, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney World, two different things that took me a while to figure out. So if you're wondering about that, there's two different Disneys. There's Disneyland, Disney World. I mean, there's other Disneys like Tokyo Disney too, but we're not gonna get into that. So I'm pretty sure our wedding would have been a complete walk in the park. It would have been like this, this crazy, like I just, you know, this wedding is so fast, it's so nice. It's got all this great food and stuff like that. They had this amazing cake and they like, they like I couldn't get Disney Mickey Mouse to come because it, you have to pay extra for Mickey Mouse to come. and. And that, I don't want to pay extra for Mickey Mouse to come. He in the parks. I'm not going to worry about, you know, having him come to my wedding. It's okay. So I'm pretty sure my wedding would have been a complete walk in the park because like I told you, they do everything for you. They get like all this stuff ready. They, they make sure your cake is amazing. They make sure that your food is amazing. They do everything for you. But one thing that most people don't know is that I was actually pregnant during our wedding. That's right, I was pregnant. I was like about six months with our first son, Joseph. So our wedding was like about like four hours long. I wanted it to be like one hour <laughs> because I had these heels. I had this giant dress. I had these like, like the, the planner didn't know I was pregnant until I got there. So like they had this giant bouquet for me to carry. So I was carrying this giant bouquet while I was carrying this giant kid in me while I was wearing this giant dress. So for me, it was a magical day. I got to marry like my best friend. It was amazing. I'll never forget that day. It was just fantastic. But I also remember that I wish things would have gone a little faster just because of like, I, like again, I was just like, okay, posing for this picture. I can only hold this pose for so long. Can you please take the picture? Or like I didn't eat before um, I went to like the ceremony and that was because I didn't want to get the dress dirty, but I was like starving. And so by the time the ceremony was over, I was like, oh my God, let me eat. But it was a pretty expensive dress. I don't want to get like food on it and stuff like that. You know, I want to be able to like, you know, have this dress and make it look nice. If I'm going to be wearing a dress that I spent like more than $200 on, I'm going to be like, okay, well, I'm not going to get this dress dirty at all. I remember like, like the pastor was talking or the priest was talking and I was just like, you know, holding Jason's hand, looking in his eyes and stuff like that. And it was like really magical. And then like, he just kept talking and talking and talking. And I'm like, all right, I already know Jesus blesses this wedding. I just want to be able to like kiss this guy already so I can, you know, hold him and love him forever. And then we can also love each other while we eat. Finally, we kiss, we close the ceremony. Then we go off, we take pictures. And like I said before, I was just having a hard time doing poses. Um, Jason was so nice to help me with some of the poses and like carry my bouquet for me because <laughs> I was having just the hardest time. I eventually ended up taking off my shoes after the, um, photo shoot because I just, I couldn't anymore. And then we got to the cake, it was amazing. And like, right as we were about to like, you know, stop and cut into it and stuff, the photographer's like, oh no, we gotta get, we gotta get a picture of you to remember forever because this is important and you can't eat your cake yet. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> but we're about to cut into this cake. And so he's like, wait, hold still. And for like the next like five minutes we're there. And it's just this, Jason can tell by this point, I am just like, I really want to eat this cake. And he's like, I know we have to look cute for our pictures. So as you can tell, a lot of my frustrations with weddings, I don't think are with weddings themselves actually. After like talking to the camera about this for a little while. I think my frustrations with weddings are the lack of food. And I would like to put a PSA out there that if you're gonna have a wedding and you're gonna do something like that, like you're gonna have a lot of people over, there's gonna be times when they get hungry, maybe even hangry. Like it is a special day, it deserves to be celebrated. And I feel like it, it, food can greatly impact 
the the likability of your wedding for your guests. Like I just realized, like as a kid, like I I'm coming to a revelation here on camera, but I just realized as a kid, I was really upset because there was like no food and I was promised to go to Disney World. And then when I was in Disney World, I was upset because I couldn't eat the cake immediately. So yeah, I'm starting to see that my issues with weddings come from the fact that if there's not good food there, I'm not going to like the wedding. <laughs> wow, it actually really felt nice to rant to the camera a little bit and discover a little bit about myself and hopefully share some of my insight with you guys. Again, what I share with you guys, I can probably go into a lot better detail and clarify some things. But again, we would be here all day, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up at that. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys like, you know, enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. And also leave me your thoughts on weddings. Like, have you been to one that was just like super crazy and uh, like amazing? Or have you been to one that was just absolutely terrible? And tell me, Tell me about the food at your weddings. You know, like you can tell me about the whole experience, but then just give me like a quick breakdown on like the food, if it was like amazing and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Let me know if you want to see more videos where I share my opinions with you guys. And who knows, maybe I'll try different styles of videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later. Take care, bye. All right, I'm actually gonna go eat right now. <laughs> I'm actually hungry. <laughs>